Hey champ, look, I know we're supposed to use the clapper board for this, but uh, we don't have any chalk. Can we edit anywhere. it in post-productions? I mean, yeah, we can do right, post-productions. Yeah, just just edit it in post-productions. We'll work around yeah, it. Yeah, we'll edit it. All right. Three, two, one, action. What's going on YouTube? Champer Productions coming back at you with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a bit of a Transformers rant here. Um, so I'm not discussing any upcoming figures. Well, I am going to be discussing some upcoming figures. I take that back. But I'm going to take their announcements and the way they're being announced. Now, as we all know, at least if you're in the Transformers community, you have uh, the reveal of the figure, you see uh, um, some you know, product shots of it, or you may see like what we saw with Studio Series Devastator, we saw um, prototype stages throughout the construction of all the figures and everything that went into building it stuff like that or we'll get an announcement for a figure we'll get in hand uh cgi created images of the figure and then later on we'll see in hand pictures of the toy and then finally it'll be released one thing that's going around on youtube right now that i feel like isn't being addressed is early reviews now if you pay close attention to my channel you may be thinking didn't you just do an early review of kingdom rhinox yes i have but i didn't buy that figure from any scalpers or anyone who may work with hasbro fra factories or has capability of getting their hands on figures early see that's the problem with some of these early reviews some uh, certain youtubers i'm not going to say any names i'm not going to say any names throughout this video but certain youtubers are doing early reviews of figures which i don't mind but at this point it's getting old and excessive like today someone posted a video review of kingdom tigertron that figure hasn't even been officially announced yet like there's no listings there's no announcement there the nothing it just showed up and i'm I, I love the look of the figure i'm going to try to pick it up if i can it looks like a fantastic figure same thing with studio series grindor another figure i plan on picking up but it got reviewed before it even became announced and i'm like all right isn't it supposed to wait till at least announcement and I guess my thing is, is I don't mind people making reviews. Like, let's say it just got announced and it was like a few days before the release date of the actual figure and someone posted a review of it then. That'd be fine. But my problem with this is, is that we're getting video reviews of figures that are not even officially announced months before they're even listed. So my problem with that is, why are they so early? Um, do I expect this video to change anything? No. Am I going to rant to you guys? Yeah, so just pull up a chair, prepare for a little bit of a rant. That's all I can really tell you. Um, so yeah, some of the upcoming figures that have already been reviewed. You know, the reason I decided to do this video today is because I've kind of had it with early reviews coming out. Because the figure that I saw today, Kingdom Tigertron, which looks absolutely fantastic by the way, was reviewed. But there has not been a single listing, leaked picture, at least that I've seen. I haven't checked, uh, what is it, TFW 2005, I haven't checked any of that. Um, but there hasn't been any listings, any pictures, none of that. Just the review comes out and I'm like, alright, it looks like a fantastic figure. But, you know, people are getting these hand, their hands on these figures so early. And honestly, I'm only hearing a handful of people talk about it and I'm... A little bit irritated with it. I don't mind early reviews. If they're like a few days early, maybe a week early before the figure is officially supposed to come out, I don't mind that. But there are already, if you go onto Google, you go to eBay, wherever, um, as long as you get to eBay, you can look up Studio Series Grindor. And there are people, as you can see here, who want the figure for like 90 something bucks, which, okay, whatever, not a big deal. You know, you can get that. But, a lot of these figures you gotta look them up and uh, from what I've seen you can't buy them anywhere so these certain reviewers are getting their hands on these figures early and not having any source credit because I mean when a reviewer says hey thanks to you know this store da 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 um you know they usually say hey this store helped us get this figure early with a lot of these new reviews that have been coming out and I say new these have been going on for at least over a year now and I feel like it's just getting out of hand at this point and I mean don't get me wrong I don't mind early reviews I don't mind looking at my YouTube recommended and saying oh hey look you know this figure's not even out yet and it's already got a review I want to see what it looks like you know that kind of stuff but the problem with that is is that this figure hasn't even been announced yet so God only knows when 
this figure is going to at least even have a listing in the toy line. Now, I could be wrong. It could be, uh, you know, tomorrow, today is, um, I, I don't know what the date is. I think it's the 21st, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'll post something somewhere saying the date of this video. But, you know, these figures are coming in early and there's no real explanation. But, I mean... Uh, I just wanted to be able to rant to you guys because I feel like this is a problem that needs to be addressed and it hasn't yet. And it's been almost, I want to say, a full year of these early reviews because at first people are like, whoa, where are these figures coming from? And then everyone's like, oh, they're getting them early from in, in factory workers. And it's like, oh, yeah, whatever. So now it's just kind of like, a, oh, he's got this early. Oh, they've got that early. Oh, and it's old. Um, I would much rather people wait for figures to come in at a more appropriate time and review them at a more appro appro appropriate time than just reviewing them and giving us months to wait of anticipation for a figure that we're already excited for. So, I mean, that's all I really had to say for today. Um, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to leave a like, comment what you think. In the comment section below, like I said, and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all for me, Champer Productions, signing off.